so that's the rest of my pig glue and I really don't want to throw it out I'm going to try to find something to put it in because it's very very nice and this is the chinois as the French would call it the fine sieve metal strainer that I use and I got all this meat off of this head to make one, two, three, four huge terrines. Three huge ones and one rather small one. And these are just in here chilling. Wow, the meat chopped up beautifully. I found one little bone in it. There was a little bit of gristle that I couldn't use and I put some of the cooked carrots in there. That's a heck of a lot of food. I don't know what I'm going to do with it all. But we shall see. I'm, I don't like storing food in plastic. I think it's very unhealthy. But I've got this one in a Tupperware with a lid. And I may try to freeze this, but I'm not sure it will work. Whew! What an adventure, and here's the skull, which I've roasted. It came apart pretty much on its own, and I noticed the tongue and the eyeballs and some of the brain and some sort of suet in, in this, and I was testing it and tasting it, and it, it was really fine, you know, uh, I was looking for any harsh gristle or anything or any more bones and uh, that's why you have to mince this by hand. Okay, what an adventure this has been. I'll try to make a clip for an unmolding of one of these terrain. Bye!